Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about preset crews. I've been asked about four or five times in the last few weeks, how do I set up my preset crews? What do I actually have set in my presets? How do you acquire them? Do I think that they are any good? Well, I'm going to give you all my opinions. I'm going to show you what I keep as my presets and I'm going to show you how to make crewing a bit easier. And this is so important. You think about this. Look at all these different officers. We have got about 200 officers in the game now and knowing who to go where, when to go where and crewing them all up. Oh my word, it can take an eternity. So let's take a look at this fantastic quality of life feature, how to use it and why you should be using it. And again, I will show you how I use it as well. Let's dive in. Right, okay, preset crews. Preset crews have been about for a uh, little time now, and they are really, really simple. Now, there are two main facets to preset crews. Now, when you go into your assign officer screen, you can access your presets in this little toggly button here. So when you click on this, you can access all of your different pre preset crew slots. Now, as you can see here, I've got quite a few. I've got two that I've unlocked more recently that I've not even added anything to. So we can use those to play with for this video. And the crews are broken down to two different elements of preset the first one is the bridge and then the second part is the below deck now i've seen some people say that they want it to be able to affect just the bridge and not the lower decks so i'm never going to do that research let's just take a quick look at where that research is so if we head over to our research trees and the research that i'm talking about specifically is in the starship tree this is going to be relying on you unlocking voyager because it's one of the voyager researchers so if we scroll across the voyager stats here and we're talking specifically about this research now if we take a quick look on how much this costs on stfc.space we can see here with the power of editing that we are straight back here and we can see it is just an r and d 34 requirement but it does require these circuitry fragments which you need to be engaging in the voyager loop in order for you to be able to acquire but once you get it ops 34 which is actually the unlock level for voyager you can go ahead and complete this and it's five thousand of those circuitry fragments by completing this you unlock the ability to use presets for lower decks now some people have been saying don't unlock that because they don't like the ability to put the lower decks they want to keep their lower decks as they are and just change the bridge crews the beauty of all of the preset crews is that you can do that you have that there as an option because you can watch this here right if we take off all of these crews down at the bottom here what we can do we can go into presets with no lower decks and when we save it it just saves the bridge crew so if you do want to maintain your lower deck crew so let me say if i go back out again discard that come back out let's pick a different ship with a different lower deck make sure it's actually got a lower deck so we can see we've got six of eleven and calm there but if i go in and i choose that preset that i've just had and i apply it my lower deck stays exactly the same so you are able to achieve that if you don't want your lower decks to change, just don't put any lower decks in when you save the preset. So clear your um, lower decks out, save your bridge crew, and then you will be able to maintain your lower deck crews. So if that's something that you want to do, I like it to change both for me. I think it's a fantastic bit of utility and I'm happy that it does both. Now, what you can't do is vice versa. So let's say you had a killer lower deck that you wanted to be able to move around. If you clear out your bridge slots, you don't have the ability to then save the crew. So you cannot save a preset crew without a captain. Uh, that's, the diff that's the rule behind setting up a preset. So it would allow you to save this pre-deck crew if we pick one officer. All you need is the captain, and then you would be able to save that preset crew. But you can't save the lower decks independently. You would have to have a captain on there, but you can just save a bridge slot. So I would say don't hesitate. Unlock that um, lower deck preset crew option. If you don't want to use it, you don't have to. You could have a combination of both for where you go to choose with it. But I personally think that preset crews for the lower decks is absolutely exceptional. It makes life so much easier. Now, the other thing that you can customize in here is the name. I mean, by looking at the crew, you can pretty much guess what the crew is. I'm not going to look at that. I'm not going to think oh, I'm going to go take out an armada with it. I know that. However, let's say you find a really good crew for PvP. And you think, I don't ever want to forget this crew. 
go and save it in a preset because maybe some people only pvp when incursions is out or when we have the new arena events coming out now that's the only time you have a pvp you're quite a placid minor and that's absolutely fine however you really like the crew that you've just tested. Go and throw it in the presets so that you don't lose it and call it something. Tell tell yourself what you did with it. So when you come back to check in three weeks' time, you're able to do it. But I'm going to show you through my preset crews. I've given you the basics on how they work. They're relatively straightforward, really. Obviously, what you do is you have to assign it to a ship. You then go into this button and you press save. And when by pressing save, you are it, you either add to a slot as you saw me do down here or you overwrite the current um crew that is on the ship that you've gone into the menu from so if i wanted to put my pvp secondary crew in i can press apply and it's going to put my secondary pvp crew in there and i can go back if i wanted to put my max cargo crew in now again it will give you the warnings all the appropriate warnings that if they're out on another ship and what it will do is it won't just fill it will send the officers that it can send so the ones that aren't on away teams it will send the officers that um aren't already out on a ship that are in your dock in a repaired ship that it can take so it's still important that when you do assign a crew that you actually go back and check and say before you just press confirm double check that you've not got any gaps if you've not got any gaps then you know that your crew's pretty much been brought over properly. So it's something for you to check. But everybody always asks me, what do I have as my preset crews? And I think they're quite simple, but I'm gonna quickly, as a flash in the pan, I'm gonna go through and show you what I use as my presets. Now, my main hostile crew, my main hostile killing crew is this one up here. So I use um, Pike, Moreau, and eData. So if I apply that, I can then show you it. So Pike, Moreau, and eData, and my standard below deck configuration there that's probably not quite what i would normally have one second sorry about that folks we're back i had a couple of um ships out that i shouldn't have had out <laughs> so everybody's back home now so it should make it a lot easier so my first main crew assign officers back up into the little tabs my hostile main killing crew so we can apply that and show you so it's going to pull up my crew so this is what I have to start off with. And this is predominantly used for my um, an Enterprise D. That's what it's crewed for, which I've got maximum below deck slots. Now, to be strategic with this, you've got to imagine that you're going to then pull this onto a ship that might only have three lower deck slots. So when you're assigning your preset crews, try and focus on keeping this left hand side here as the ones that you would want most importantly. So hull breach, critical chance, isolytic damage they are my three main things that i want from a hostile crew when i'm going to go out generally so i've put those three officers in those first three slots then what do i want i've gone for morale i've gone for speed i've gone for loot i've gone for isolytic defense so that's what i focus on if i'm on my nd i'll take it all i'll have absolutely everything but start from the left and work across in what you find to be the most important. That's a tip for any of these crews, because remember that, yes, my Enterprise D has all of those slots, but if I go into my Negva, which I sometimes use for G6 hostiles, I'm then going to lose the abilities of Kim, Dane, the Doctor, and Pelia if I don't go in and change things around, which is why on the left-hand side, always keep the most important ones. Obviously, every ship's got three ship docks, uh, three bridge slots. So that's absolutely fine. You don't need to worry about that. But that's my main one. And because that's my hostile killing crew, again, make my life easy, I keep it at the top and I just call it hostiles main. Mona Veen Auto Grind, I flip between this quite regularly. What I like to be able to do is let's say that I've just finished a quick run, but then I'm going to go and have my tea, for example. I'm going to go have dinner. I'm going to go out for an hour because I'm going out. I'm going to go take the, take the dog out. I like to be able to just come in here, throw the Mona Veen on, assign officers, grab my Mona Veen crew. It changes it. So you can see this is my Mona Veen crew. This is what I use for auto auto grinding. So I've got the good abilities there from uh, Pike and Ortegas. I've got a bit of loot there from five. I've thrown data. You can see here, obviously he was a stalwart of my previous crew, but he goes on here for a bit of extra cargo. You could consider putting Laan on there. I could probably now get away with getting rid of Ortegas and putting four of 11 on there. But I know that the way that my crews work, the extra cargo that I'm getting from four, my Selkie has got four on it because the cargo on my Selkie is atrocious. Four will already be out. So four of 11 will already be out. You can see he's already on ship D. That's my Selkie dock. So I know, f so these are, remember, these are what I use and I'm explaining my rationale behind it. Are there going to be better crews potentially for you? Yes, they will. But I'm explaining my rationale as to why I'm choosing these crews. Obviously, big combat up front, my three stalwarts that I wanted for the first three. Um, Harry Kim, not really needed. I mean, but I don't also, I don't even need burning. 
I mean, I don't actually need burning in there because I've got the, Mo the Mona Veen skin. So you might want to throw a Neelix below deck to get some burning ability. So I suppose I could maybe go down here and get somebody like, I don't need mitigation. I, I don't really need it. Critical damage, throw the one there. Maybe change that as a preset. But make sure that your presets are, mined, are mapped to you. But then I can send my Mona Veen out quite quickly because you think if I go back to my other ship, the speed at which I can now change my ships over to get my crews done, I'm ready to send it out. I'm ready to go. It takes seconds rather than flicking through who have I got, who have I, who have I forgot. That is the benefit of presets. It's massively, massively all about the time saving. And that's why you're doing it. Okay, so that's my Mona Veen Auto Grind crew. And remember that I said to you that you can name these. So when you're in here, you've got this little pencil that allows you to go in and then you can go in and you can change the name of a crew. I could call it Hi YouTube. <laughs> Something like that. I mean, you can call it anything that you like, obviously within a certain character restriction. My third crew that I have, so I've got my max cargo crew, which is what I was just talking to you about. So this, this is my Sel Sel Selkie crew. And again, this is all perfect for me. I don't have like data below deck, for example, because I know that data is going to be out. So if I apply this to my ship, in fact, I'll just go to, I can do it because I can cancel it. So it's going to drag that crew across. Now, this is another thing to note. Now, remember that because I'm using the same dock that I said my Enterprise D on, because I didn't have anything selected in the preset for these end five slots, it's left those officers in place. So be wary that by selecting it, you need to make sure that just before you go away, until you fully get your head around how the presets work, that these officers are now going to be tied up as well, even though they're not part of the preset. The preset stops here. It stops at two rocks. So I've got Laan, uh, and then I've got Mavery, Ston, and 4 of 11 for cargo. Obviously, two rocks just there for when we used to do Voyager mining. But I don't use him for anything else, so I've just left, left him in there to do that. But that's my crew, and the preset looks like this that's all the preset looks like so that's my second so that's that one and if we go back into the presets we can take a look at the next one so then i've got my waves so wave obviously waves require two ships so i've got my wave ship one wave ship two neither of these crews duplicate on officers so i've made sure of that so that it's really easy when people are going to set up for a wave i literally have to put my ships in and go select wave one wave two done Best thing to do ever. It's so quick because people normally say, I'm ready to run a wave. Who wants to join? And I've probably missed, before I did this and I put these in presets, I bet I missed four or five in quick succession because the waves had filled up before I had time to prattle about with my crews and get in. <laughs> so having the ability to put my wave crews on really quick is really beneficial to me. I've then got my loot crew. So my default cr grind and my default advice to basically anybody before when they're trying out a crew is can you do it with loot so any hostile killing event or loop or anything like that your go-to crew in an ideal world should, should be this picard e data and five to get the maximum loot out of it as what you can what do the lower decks look like on this the standard three my base three now i've got harry kim in there i probably would swap him if it was a different ship but again i'm using my enterprise d so my enterprise d is so important to me and obviously there are things that use morale that like artifacts and things that mean that kim could be a bit of a stalwart with it but then remember this here tom paris none of these officers they are all focused on loot yes we're getting isolate isolatic damage from e data and e picard but we've got no mitigation so throwing Tom Paris in there is then getting me a bit of mitigation for this crew. So we've got isolytic mitigation in theory, isolytic defense, a bit more loot in there as well. So again, this is my go-to crew for when we're looking at general loot grinding. Next one down, NX-01, the 40s crew. So killing the 40s, the forever living with them. This is the crew that I use for that. So going to kill them. So I've got a blank slot that I just didn't need anything else for it. I could probably throw Alexander Dane in there for a bit more speed to speed that run up. In fact, let's do that because that's something that I've never thought of. So I can throw Alexander Dane in there and then we will update this preset crew to make sure that it's right. So we'll save it. There we go. And we'll apply it now. I've got Alexander Dane get a bit, a little bit more speed in there for that. So this is my crew for going out and killing the 40s to make sure that I'm maximizing the amount of X Borg credits that I'm able to get on a daily basis to keep up with all the different chest pulls and favors and things. Armada. So here we go. So I've got two here. So I've got an Armada power crew 
Um, so this is the maximum out damage output crew that obviously that I've got. I could potentially have put miles in there, but I like the idea of full synergy. And it also means that I could then run a full Cisco crew if I really wanted to. You can see there that I've got another Cisco crew down there, which again is another idea of mine that not throwing miles on there w allowed me to have this other quick preset crew down here. And what does that look like? So my overall power crew, if we apply that, Looks like looks like this. So everybody works in Armadas. I've got all three states. Um, I've got mitigation from Paris because remember, Janeway, Chakotay and Seven in this configuration don't offer any mitigation. So Paris below deck does that for me. We've got loot, we've got crit, got critical damage. And obviously we've got isolatic defense as well within that crew. Keeping on going then, we've got the Armada loot. This isn't the right crew. I've clicked something and changed this. We need to change this, peeps. We need to change our Armada loot crew. So let's assign this and let's put what our actual Armada loot crew is. I don't know quite what quite what happened there. I was playing with these and renaming stuff to make it a bit better for the video. So we're going to run this tolerate and we are going to put five of 11 on there. That's it. That's the beauty. And we can make that our Armada loot crew. But that's how quick it is to make it. So obviously Armada loot, remember that yes, these do work but these actually have specific Armada-based abilities. So Hostiles loot, because they're officer abilities for e Picard and E-Day to work against Hostiles. Tolerate and Tolly, their officer abilities work against Armadas and invading entities. So that's why we have that as our other loot crew for Armadas specifically. I've then got two solo crews. Um, so I am in a position where... There isn't a solo armada in the game, barring some of the G6 ones that I actually need a third ship. I can pretty much kill everything with one ship, but I keep two because I can kill the G6 solo armadas, not in hazard space, the ones that my Enterprise D can actually reach. I can kill those with two ships. So I only have two solo ships set up and that works for me. You might find that you still use three. So I will potentially have three there if you're still using three ships for your solo armadas. I'm not in that position at the moment. So if we apply this, we can look at solo ship one, which obviously has Tom Paris in there, because again, we've got the same crew where we've got, yeah, lots of damage output, increasing shots and isolytic, a bit of loot in there at the side as well. Again, that's a personal preference of mine, but I've got no mitigation. Hence, we've got Tom Paris on the lower deck. And then my second ship, which is more of like a brutey type ship, is got Cisco, which has obviously got mitigation, extra shots, and then we've got Jadzia for the increase in weapon damage as well, plus providing synergy to Cisco for a little bit more mitigation. And then just some more Armada officers. And again, really make sure that when you're looking at solos, if you're going to crew three ships up, make sure you've got no overlap on the lower decks as well. Because obviously, if you've got the same officer on both presets, it's just going to keep flicking from one side to the other. And I've got two PvP crews. So my new main PvP crew is the Mirror Crew. Um, this is what it looks like. So we've got things like uh, Assimilate below deck. Obviously, Data is giving Assimilate. I double hat Assimilate at the moment to try and get the benefits from Picard. Um, and I'm also considering at the moment whether them, I need to do some more testing, whether my main PvP crew should actually look like this. And we get a little bit more of this from Kira, but she's still a relatively low rank, increasing shots by 50%, up to 40% at rank 5, <sighs> but it's for 5 rounds, so it's, so, it's, so it's decent, so I'm considering whether I swap on a guard war for, for Kira, but I want to do a little bit more testing um, on Kira before I decide to fully change my preset, and then just some of the standard PvP guys below, but remember that obviously make sure you've got the relevant lower deck officer, because obviously there's 3, there's Shax, there's Billups, and then there's Who's oh, the other one? My mind's gone blank. Sh you're all shouting at the screen now. Are you t telling me who they are? Shax, Billups, Ransom. God, how do I forget Ransom? And Ransom, just make sure that you've got the right one for your main ship that you use in PvP. So obviously you've got to be looking at anything. If on an Explorer, which is what I'm saying, my Enterprise D is my main ship, Shax increases your isolated defense by 40% by for each round so just make sure you get the one that's specifically applicable to you then my secondary pvp if you are doing incursions and you want a second crew obviously i've used on a guard wharf already on my previous crew so i'm running carol freeman flocks and then locker to get the ability to run proc carol and then again nothing is reused below deck here for my second crew from my first crew 
And that's most of them, really. I don't think I've got any more set up. They're the main crews that I use. I hope you found this useful. I hope it's been a bit of a refresher on preset crews. I think everybody should use them. Uh, I find it a valuable time save, especially when you're doing this for the same activities that you're doing quite regularly. Um, and there isn't many, cr many grinds in here that aren't catered for for me. Where do you access the preset slots? Yes, you get a couple to start with, but you get them from Syndicate. If you go back, you can see here, I'm currently at Syndicate 44, but if you go back, Officer Preset, keep going back. Uh, Officer Preset, of, of, Officer Preset there. There's loads. Officer Preset, Officer Preset. Uh, they're everywhere. Officer Preset. This is where you get your bulk of Officer Presets from. It's from Syndicate. Another one of the outstanding abilities um, and gains and bonuses from working on your syndicate XP. Everybody should do that. Okay, I hope everybody's found that useful. Um, I really enjoyed going through that with you all. I just want to show you this system because I think it looks absolutely stunning. I'm up in G6 space at the moment. I think, doesn't that look brilliant? <laughs> absolutely amazing. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Let me know if you've got any other presets that you think that you use quite regularly that I've not catered for in my presets. That would be amazing. Press the subscribe button if you haven't already so that you're related to future videos by pressing the little bell, ding, ding. Check out itsloop.com where you can access all of our content so you can see find our twitch channel our youtube channel which you know where it is you're on it now you can access our discord where you can chat to everybody from the team and also you can find our podcast obviously our podcast is all about star trek it's got star trek it's got stfc in there it's got bits about the fact that we've got a big cultural difference between the brits and the yanks go and check that out it's called brits and yanks talk trek you can find that on all major podcast platforms download it have a listen and give us some feedback on that but apart from that have a wonderful day everybody and remember that absolutely everything is better with loop take care and have a wonderful day guys